In fact, in the time it'll take you to watch this next story, someone will develop Alzheimer's, and the number of people with the disease is expected to triple in the next 40 years. Jordan Burgess live with the problems appearing in communities around Dayton. Jordan? Some disturbing findings in that report just issued by the Alzheimer's Association. As they said, one out of every seven people with Alzheimer's lives alone. Now, that's more than 5,000 people here in the Miami Valley, and we found that taking care of them has fallen on all of us. Chuck Fox faced a problem that has plagued far too many families. The goal always was to try to keep her in her house, but at the same time, I could tell she was becoming more of a danger to herself. Chuck's mom, Pauline, suffered from Alzheimer's. For years, he stopped in to help take care of her. But when someone scammed her out of some money, he knew he had to move her from her home to an assisted living facility. I started seeing that she was no position to make decisions on her own and she was trying to do that. Pauline lived alone, although Chuck was just right down the street. But according to a new report, many others with Alzheimer's are living alone with no one to help. I've had um, individuals who have been, you know, literally completely wiped out financially because they didn't have anybody around to say, wait a second, that doesn't really make sense. Vicki Carraher's job with the city of Kettering is to visit those isolated seniors. Uh, the earlier we help an individual, the better uh, diagnostic procedures they go through, the longer they're going to be able to stay at home. But the pressures those dementia patients are putting on communities with constant calls for help are only going to increase. As Chuck can tell you, taking care of someone with Alzheimer's is never easy. But just like with the disease, going it alone can make things even tougher. You need to reach out, um, ask for help, um, find the resources. And if you want to read the Alzheimer's Association's report for yourself or if you know someone suffering from Alzheimer's and need help, just head to our website, WDTN.com, and click on web links on the homepage to find the link to the Alzheimer's Association website. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News.